These look so good. Oh my god, it's pink. I didn't know this one was pink. <laughs> And welcome back to the <laughs> This is gonna be an exciting video. This is going to be celebrating our two-year vegan anniversary, which sounds so weird and it literally went by so fast. So we are going to be doing a little Q and A mukbang for you guys, and we really just want to eat too. So it's <laughs> it's like a works out both ways. So if you didn't see our video last year, we ordered food, some vegan food, and then we answered some questions, and we're gonna be doing that again this year. We have our questions written down on a piece of paper because we are using both of our phones for filming purposes. So we have our Cosmo and Wanda by paper right here but i'm gonna tell you what we are eating so we're gonna get into what we're eating but i will say in last year's video i was a little bit boring we were in tallahassee we didn't really have a lot of food to choose from but now we are in new york city which i feel like is like in the top three places for vegan food maybe i just have no idea but we have better food this time and i'm really excited to get into it so we have Jarrell's better burger their fries and we also have their burger this is the og better and this one has two patties i'm being a little bit naughty today we have two patties and cheese and special sauce oh i need to take these tomatoes out i hate tomatoes and pickles need to take those out too so i just have lettuce and cheese on mine with their fries and then we both got shakes from there this is the vanilla shake and this is the cookies and cream shake which this is really good it's made with oat milk which they didn't really have like a lot of vegan milkshakes, but this is so fun. And then we ordered garlic knots from one of our favorite pizza places here and pizza. These are the vegan garlic knots. They have vegan sausage, vegan cheese, vegan garlic sauce on it. Yeah, um, just vegan and everything. And then we are drinking coffees. This is my ginger lime coffee. And then this is cherry lemon. I've never tried this one before. It's pretty good. My OG ones are like orange, strawberry, lemon, and raspberry rose, but this is okay too. But let's dive into these questions so we can start eating. I already started <laughs> eating. <laughs> Question number one is, does a vegan diet automatically imply that it is healthy? And as you can see, the answer no, I was just about to is say. <laughs> the answer is no. I was about to say this video is the epitome of veganism is not guaranteed to be healthy. So there's like obviously a lot of different vegan restaurants. They make a lot of vegan junk food, vegan pizza, vegan donuts. Obviously, it does not just necessarily mean that it is going to be healthy just because it's vegan. Vegan literally just means that it has no animal products in it, but it can be healthier because you're gonna implement more vegetables and stuff into your diet if you, you know, eat correctly and do the research. Obviously, we don't eat like this every single day because this is very unhealthy. It's just like a cheap, fun little thing that we are doing. The vegan junk food is also highly processed like any animal-based junk food so really just eating that type of stuff in moderation when you're vegan is key because it's very good and easy to get caught up in eating like a bunch of it and that will lead your vegan journey to being very unhealthy question number two is what are our favorite vegan version of animal-based products and i feel like this is a good question especially for like people who are just now getting into veganism or just people that are like dairy free and like want to just try different products i don't know so i guess we'll like put like different categories on the screen so we were just trying to come up with the categories and i think this is going to be very very so many categories like because you have yogurt you have milk like like you just do like dairy or whatever so we're just do like the basic ones are you guys a dip your fries in a shake type of person i definitely am i don't no. think you are i don't think no you are. i don't i do it sometimes so we're gonna just break it down into five categories it's just gonna get really crazy if we don't so we're gonna do milk eggs cheese butter and meat products with milk i don't know i think we have I don't know if we have different ones, so maybe we should like see, like you say, I'll say, and we'll see if we have like different ones. I think mine is either Planet Oat or Chubani. Yeah, I like Planet Oat as well. I like Oat Malk, like Malk the brand too as well. Just the only thing with that, I like that it has three ingredients in it, but it's very thin. <laughs> so I feel like it's very hard to like cook with. Like I feel like you can use it in drinks or cereal or whatever. I feel like it's really hard to just cook with in general, like make sauces and stuff. And it's not gonna froth or anything like that. But I just like it because it makes me feel better because it's like three ingredients. Honorable mention to Oatly because Oatly is that girl when you go out most of the time the soft serve or like this is oatly like it's going to be oatly so i also like them too 
I think for eggs we do just egg, but sometimes that's just, I'm not about to go buy just egg because I don't really use it that much. So we'll use applesauce. Those are also mine because it's like really not that many to choose from. Mm -hmm. I think we have different ones for cheese. I like the, I don't know how to say this brand. I think it's Bio, Bio Life. The number one is the smoked provolone for me and the number two is going to be the smoked gouda i find for me that the smoked flavors kind of minimize the vegan cheese taste and if you're vegan or ever had vegan cheese you know what i'm talking about so i think it kind of helps to camouflage that taste a little bit so those are always going to be my go-to i don't even know if i really like vegan cheese that much i use it yeah but like would i prefer to not use it probably like, i don't know i feel like i like using like nut based cheeses or like making my own cheese sometimes we make like a good cashew cheese but like we don't have a blender at the moment i guess if i had to pick it would probably be the bio bio life smoked flavors like brown was saying i think those were like probably like my favorite ones like if i had to choose one but like it's not gonna be the first thing that i pick up in the store i think we have the same one for butter one mm -hmm. two Three. The Trader, Trader Joe's. <laughs> Butter. <laughs> I don't know when this came into my life, and I don't know when Mr. Trader Joe invented this, but their vegan butter, their vegan, not the vegan spread, the vegan butter, butter in like the rectangle or the square or whatever, is everything to me. I definitely think they have the best on the market, but I haven't been going to Trader Joe's. We haven't been going to the store. We've been ordering our groceries from Whole Foods, so. I would say my second favorite is probably Earth Balance. <laughs> yeah, I'd say Earth Balance too. Number one goes to Mr. Trader Joe's. And for a fact, we have the same exact favorite for the meat product, and it's gonna be impossible every single time. It is gonna be. Impossible just posted, like, of course I follow Impossible. They just posted they're coming out with hot dogs. Ooh! I'm so excited. Like, I feel like New York is like the king of hot dogs. Like, I feel like they have like a lot of hot dogs, like food trucks and stuff. And I know that. One time, Impossible tested their hot dogs at the New York food truck, but like, mm -hmm. of course, I didn't know about it and I didn't go and like whatever. And the hot dogs, because like, the grill outs. <laughs> I'm sorry, but <laughs> we like the fake meat. As you can tell, we're very enthusiastic about the fake meat. As I was saying, when you go to a grill out and stuff, like they have the sausages, but you know, at a grill out, it's the hot dogs. Like the a grilled hot dog. Like, are you Everything. kidding me? I want to be included. And like, I feel like there's no one really in the game to me right now that's doing it like impossible. Beyond would be the closest, but it's still like a gap. The next one are what are the benefits for being vegan? And I would probably separate the benefits into different categories. So like moral benefits, I guess like ethical. Is that like moral and ethical are the same thing? So moral yeah. and ethical benefits and environmental benefits and also health benefits as well. Everybody has their own opinion. This is in no way like judging anybody else. You do you, you do what you want, but everybody has their own morals on things and everyone has their own opinions on things and we just want to share because it's our vegan anniversary. Going back to their moral and ethical benefits, for me, it feels good not to contribute to the meat industry, the dairy industry, the fish industry. I feel like if like that is like a big moral dilemma for you, then maybe you want to possibly look into going vegan or even not, maybe just like doing a few plant-based meals. But I definitely think moral and ethical is a big part of being vegan and it's a big benefit of it. An environmental benefit, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that I know like a bunch about the environmental benefits but i know that there are some like how beyond and impossible have on their packages of producing the, these products use less water or like even like oat milk is less water than regular cow milk or making that or like even like contributing to like the methane in the air like it's going to be less for creating the impossible products i mean there's a hole in the ozone like that's why it's like 50 degrees like in new york in january some days like global warming is definitely a thing i personally believe in global warming veganism helps to reduce some of the contributions to global warming i also feel like environmentally like you were saying like all of the water all of like the feed and like stuff to feed the animals and all of that like it's like on a really large scale obviously we're not gonna be perfect with the environment because every day just transportation all of this other stuff you're gonna still mess with the environment but i feel like just like <laughs> i feel like just like decreasing that environment in one aspect of your life if you'd like to do that to care about the environment then this could be a good way to do it the last benefit we had is health benefits and i definitely think the health benefit is i really just increase my vegetable intake because that's pretty much all you eat as vegan like you have protein sources like tofu and stuff but mostly it is 
vegetable based so i feel like a lot of people that eat animal based diets they don't really focus on getting a lot of vegetables in so like veganism is an easy way to increase your vegetable intake and then also just like increasing your vitamins because as a vegan like you can't really be like so picky like i don't eat this vegetable i don't eat that vegetable so i kind of think that it helps to widen up your palate and make you want to try new things and just have experiences with new foods and then that's obviously going to help like increase like your vitamin intake or stuff because you're eating foods that you don't normally eat and then like getting different vitamins from these nutrient-based foods is going to be good. I agree with the health benefits and like you were saying you're getting like a wide range of food so then you're like getting a wide range of nutrients. I definitely feel like when before I was vegan I don't think I even looked at a vegetable like I know that I definitely ate really just carbs and chicken nuggets and pizzas. Now I feel like I intentionally try to make my meals with vegetables also because like you were saying that's just veganism in general but also I feel like I'm more conscious of trying to be healthy with my meals and I'm like trying to not just have empty meals but have like meals with protein and carbs vegetables and i've been trying to have like a fruit or vegetable at every meal what advice would we give our past selves when we first went vegan i don't know if that question made any sense but us now what advice would we give our past selves when we first went vegan oh i know about exactly what i would tell myself i would tell myself to not try to necessarily recreate verbatim Mm -hmm. every single recipe like it's not gonna be one-to-one -one all the time like, i used to use chicken now i'm gonna use this fake chicken patty like, i feel like no one that can also get expensive like trying to like keep up with all those fake meat products but also just i like to try to eat more whole foods as well so i feel like i don't really like doing the one-to-one -one thing and i feel like also it doesn't always work out i would just probably tell myself embrace veganism and that it's like separate from sort of the way i was eating like of course you can eat like that too but i don't think it's like sustainable to do every single day i would just say like branch out try new protein sources try vegetables fruits all of that and like fully immerse in this vegan lifestyle I think mine would be learn how to cook tofu. <laughs> Big one as tofu. I'm not trying to like kind of going along with what you said. Not try to like recreate it as like, I don't know, like how you would cook chicken or steak or something because it's like not gonna work. Definitely learning how to embrace tofu for its, sep its own separate thing and cooking it and learning how to cook it good because as a vegan, you're gonna need to know how to cook tofu. Even not as a vegan, it's super good. Learn how to cook it right because when you cook it right, it is chef's tip. The next one is, if I'm vegan, do I have to eat a large amount of vegan food to get the same amount of protein that I would get when I eat meat? So this is a question from our dad. <laughs> Basically, he's asking, like, do we as vegans have to eat, like, a large amount of vegan protein or, like, just vegan foods in general to get to the same level of somebody that, like, eats meat during the day? This whole, like, fitness thing where, like, you have to eat, like, 200 grams of protein or whatever like a normal is out of control it's gotten out of control like there's literally like when we were doing our fitness there was like literally a point when we were eating 120 grams of protein if you have goals and aspirations of being like a bodybuilder or like stuff like that then maybe you may need to do more of that but like the average person like just working out you really don't need all of that protein when you look it up just on the internet it literally says like men get 60 and like women get 50. i don't know what the exact number is but it's nowhere near 190 or like what i've seen some people on like the internet eat so i think that you can definitely reach your protein goals if you're eating stuff with protein that you know like beans tofu edamame even vegetables have a little bit of protein like it's really nothing to worry about like even like this impossible meat and stuff has protein in it if i were like a new vegan or like someone that's interested in being veganism and you're like letting the protein thing stop you i wouldn't let that because we've been doing it for two years we feel fine like i don't think that like everyone should just like be worried about protein just because you're not eating animal based products i think if you just like intentionally eat like balanced meals like without tracking like i think you'll be fine also there's like a lot of vegan athletes out there as well like that don't struggle with protein or anything at all the next question is going to be what is our worst vegan experience who do i have a story to tell this was like back when we were living in florida so like last year i had this internship it was lunch time i'm gonna go heat up my food and i'm gonna just mind my business Every Everybody's eating whatever they want to eat. Like, I'm just going to go heat my food up and I'm going to come. We, they were like sitting in a group. So I was like, okay, maybe I should go be social and not just go lock myself in the room like I typically do when eat my lunch. So I like heated my food up and then I came and I sat down and they were like, what are you eating? And I'm like, 
Okay, so I think I made like this sun-dried tomato. I made this sun-dried tomato pesto sandwich that was like chef's kiss and has arugula in it. It's pretty good. And I was just like the sandwich and they were like, oh, that was like the first thing because I feel like everybody else is sitting over here. Like they didn't ask them what they were eating. They were just like worried about what I was eating because I'm vegan and they got to worry about what I'm eating. Then I went to this Friendsgiving thing over the weekend. So we were talking about that and I was said I brought impossible nuggets. And like one of the girls was like vegetarian sometimes i guess the thing of it is when she was with me she would be like vegetarian this vegetarian this like yeah like i was thinking about going vegan like you know and i'm like okay cool then when she got in front of the other people then she was like trying to make it like she never said any of that yeah vegan is really gross she never said any of that <laughs> and so then we got in this group so then she asked another lady employee there and she was like have you ever tried the impossible products and the lady was like no i've never tried the impossible products and i was like oh well they're good and she was like no i wouldn't i wouldn't try that because they put so much fake stuff in it like i might as well eat the real thing and then like she was like saying that i needed to eat meat because it's like always like oh you're skinny like whatever but like i'm like it has nothing to do with veganism like we literally were have been like just naturally built small so i'm like it has nothing to do with veganism like i literally we literally in like middle school we're still in boosters it's like i don't even think i hit 100 <laughs> i know crazy i don't even think i hit 100 pounds until like high school like we've just been small until we started cheerleading and then we got muscle and yeah it doesn't matter so that, that kind of annoyed me because i'm like it literally has nothing to do with meat because i was eating mcdonald's and stuff as a kid then they started going on this thing like well chickens are born to just die basically and to feed us and i'm like okay i don't even know <laughs> i'm like i don't even know how we got here i was just trying to share with them what i had brought to the uh, for Thanksgiving because we were talking about a weekend and then I was like okay so then how did this turn to like a thing where they're like shaming me what for what I'm doing when I literally haven't said anything and I didn't even say anything to that because it really did upset me so I got quiet and then like I went in the room and I wrote this dramatic <laughs> I wrote this dramatic journal entry and pink writing like that wasn't intentional like two or three pages and I and I called Brianna crying and she was like what's wrong and I told her that whole story and it was just a mess it just gagged me because I feel like it started with what did you eat for lunch to now i'm in the room crying and like writing a journal entry like, sometimes i feel like when you're around people like i guess i feel so strongly against veganism you eat what you're eating i'm eating what i'm eating like it was just so unprovoked like it's just like sometimes those can invoke like a lot of bad experience i would say my worst vegan experience was the experience that i was talking about earlier but i guess i'll explain more in detail about when we put the tofu in the oven <laughs> so we found like this i don't know it was like some chicken recipe or something and they're like you're supposed to put like tomatoes on top and put it in the with the chicken and then you put it in the oven and it cooks so they were raw tomatoes so like already if you know anything about tofu it absorbs liquid knowing what i know now putting the tomatoes on top to like cook and to seep into the tofu just already was just a bad idea if i wasn't going to do extra cooking time but also tofu comes in water i know you didn't press yeah i probably didn't even press it i don't even remember i just literally just stuck it in there put the tomatoes on top and the rest of the seasoning and then when i got it out the oven i was like i don't know if this is done or not like i literally know nothing about tofu so then we were like eating it and it was like i guess it's not really technically raw but it's like i like crispy tofu or like it like cooked so it was kind of like giving raw like giving like out of the package tofu <laughs> and i was just like really like gross i was telling her like it made me sick like it literally was just like <laughs> a very bad horrible experience so like after that i didn't like like tofu or, like or i was said i didn't like tofu but now it's definitely good i know how to cook it now and <laughs> i will never make that mistake again next question is congrats on two years of being vegan Woo! how has becoming vegan benefited you i definitely feel more energized and just healthier overall i usually get feel sick after eating a lot of like animal based food and products or i don't have that problem anymore and then also the moral benefit is really important to me and that's really the main reason why i went, went vegan so i'm happy that i get to help all of our animal friends and not contribute to those industries that harm them i feel like it challenged me with cooking and i feel like i'm definitely a better cook now because i feel like you have to be a little bit more inventive i mean there's like recipe books and everything but just to be able to make meals and stuff like seasoned vegetables properly make them taste yummy so i feel like i'm a better cook now i feel like i can think of something and try to whip it up or whatever like i just feel like it's maybe better cook and i feel like it's also just helped me with getting nutrients and also because i'm like a picky eater like 
very picky eater. I think it has like widened my palate to like a few new foods and I hate trying things. And I definitely hated trying things when I wasn't vegan, but I feel like that I am vegan and I'm like a little bit more open to it because I'm like, oh, it's just plants. Like she was saying, like I used to get like grossed out a lot. And now I'm like, oh, it's just plants. Like I can try this, like it's fine. So I think like those are like two ways that it would be. So the next question is, what is our favorite vegan restaurant? So I have three. I don't really know if they're restaurants, but they're just like places to get vegan food. So number one is Jarrell's Better Burger. I love them and they're super good. And they also, they open late night for when you have a crazy night out and then you need some food. So they are just my favorite. They're just super good and tasty. Their shake is just great. The burgers are just incredible and just everything about this restaurant is so good my second favorite and this really isn't even in any order but like the second one i'm going to mention is planta specifically the one in williamsburg they have just great vegan options they have vegan brunch like most places don't even have like breakfast food other than like tofu scramble or something that you could have like they have french toast and monkey bread and different stuff like that we actually did go to planta for brunch one time during vlogmas and it was super so good we went there before for dinner just always it's just gonna be super good and then and number three is going to be Valkyrie Donuts in St. Pete. I really do enjoy their donuts. A lot of people try to get away with like the cake like vegan donuts and like yeah that's okay but like truly my favorite type of donut is going to be the fried donut every single time. So I love that Valkyrie offers that for us because it's just super good and they have great flavors so i feel like i have some of the same ones as her so like maybe i'll just put in some other ones so it's not maybe not technically my favorite vegan restaurant but just different options valkyrie's bakery is going to be on there because the donuts the donuts like i'm going to insert a picture they're literally like decadent they have cookies and cream they had french toast it was just oh it was so good and then by my job <laughs> i've been going to the slutty vegan a lot so i'll shop them out they have a couple different locations the only thing with the slutty vegan to me is like i told you i'm a picky eater i'm like a kid eater like i literally get the kids meal because i just want a plain cheeseburger i don't want all the, the stuff they put on it but they have a lot of different options that you do want that they have sausage too they have like tenders they have burgers like i feel like they have burgers that are like they go out with the burgers <laughs> and then i'm also going to shout out spicy moon they're not technically my favorite Jarrell's would probably be in the favorites list i just wanted to give you guys a different vegan restaurant spicy moon it's like vegan szechuan chinese food we've ordered from them a few times and had it come here they're pretty good i just need them to add like a sesame tofu dish to the menu and i would be so happy and just ordering from them all if someone wants to be vegan, do you recommend a slow transition or jump right in? So I would definitely say it depends on the type of person you are. Personally, I mean, it was like a slow transition over time, but I think that's something I could do overnight. It really wasn't that difficult for me, but as I was saying, I had already cut stuff out, so I really can't speak to my personal experience. I think if you are a person like me, kind of like how I was saying, how animal products kind of made me feel gross, and I really just didn't want to be a part of it anymore. Like I feel like if you have that kind of mindset, then like being vegan, and just like cutting it out really would be like a smoother and easier transition for you instead of like having to do slowly over years like personally i don't think that it needs to be like <clears throat> over like years of doing it maybe months if that like i feel like it doesn't need to be like a long drawn out process like maybe you just aren't ready to go vegan if it's gonna have to take you like five years to go vegan like you know what i mean so i definitely think it truly depends on the type of person you are though i agree with that that's actually probably exactly what i was gonna say that i feel like it depends on like if you're just ready and you're just done and you just want to be vegan i don't think it would have a negative effect on you except for the fact maybe you'll be like craving certain things but other than that i don't think it will be like a negative house on you but like i get i'm not a medical professional so i don't know the medical side of that and like what a doctor would say but i personally think that you can go vegan overnight if you'd like to i know some people have done it like if they watch like a documentary or something and they're just like okay i'm done or like if you think that it would be better for you maybe you're like i know like a lot of people eat a lot of meat or cheese or whatever so that may have to be like more over a series of months but like you were saying like, i don't think it would be like years like i, I personally feel like it would be months so that is going to be the end of our two-year vegan anniversary q a thank you so much for watching um we really appreciate you watching our videos and um 
if you definitely when you stay to the end thank you so much we really do appreciate it i definitely ate a lot of food my stomach is hurting and i'm definitely ready to go to sleep and my coffee's almost done if you stay to the end make sure to comment a cow emoji and that like green leaf Thing emoji. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video. And this is just a reminder that we are going to be posting every Sunday. So next week is going to be back to the vlog. So we will see you then. Bye! Bye.